You sent for me, said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. To chant la Sancto Costa del Sancto Raoul, O testet submerges le nono cher, for grazie de u, qui se sens invadas. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. And the quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under shower. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Bono. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. <laughs> Indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My position says... Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the means of the liver should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eivor. And I will carry the scars to remind me. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Sinrich's daughter now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mail shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Rishadis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth, that I find more honor and courage in you, Eivor, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. Bernard. A part of me wanted to hand him over to Charles. What grace you possess prevented you from condemning the boy to a hell in this world. He is better off with Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. <sighs> I will find Richardus. I am duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is... one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. No. Murdering Charles on the hope it will bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I want to make. 
I misjudged you, Eva. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough. You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I'll go to the tavern in Amiens and find Rashardus. Fine. Bonne chance, Eva. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not. Do you see soon? It was a massacre. These men must have been the Queen's guard. Tavern Keep, what happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone. The monster, so much blood. Just hide! Better to look around myself. It's a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. Oh. 
Prinzling is around here somewhere. Bernard is here. <laughs> this place is heavily guarded. You hear what Shah needs to do to the Queen? I don't care. She is so young. Nobody should be burned alive. Villa. But Richard Dees distracted him, and I snuck through the construction, along the wall. There is a tower there. And if you climb and climb, you can go right over! Where is Richardus? Where is the Queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to Father for something. A test! I was- What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire, at Father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lisse. I will see to Richardis. I can help. I know things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It'll be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up to it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo.
I'll handle it. Kill! The renovations better be worth all these double shifts. They will...
Something going on? Hang on, this. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness! <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor! My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king, and before God. It's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs. Life. Stand aside, Bishop. Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn. For little mother. For my brother Ebels. I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop! I will kill you again! The Lord scared me! I am his wrath! Thou hast to deliver my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from torment! Like it. I want me to send you to hell.
I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I send him back to the house in Lizer. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to our remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Fine. If I can, I will spare him. But I need to be sure he can abide these terms. I know you will do what's right. The Lord works through you, and he is merciful. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. Have you done, Charles?